Last time on Lawful Stupid. You guys um, are heading northeast of New Haven Hole. And you guys approach the lake that you guys, uh, that some of you remember visiting before. It, it is a very tranquil scene. And you start to begin heading northeast, right? You're still heading deeper into Giesbron territory. And as you guys are heading into the woods, you hear the cracking of branches and trees behind you as, as something approaches. Gus, you smell the air and you place that smell as Giesbron. Darling, what you see when you turn around, you can see there are three Gears Bomb, and you can see that those three Gears Bomb are moving through the woods with the intent of being stealthy. They look more ferocious than the Gears Bomb you had interacted with. They look less uh, polished and more feral. And we hear Gus shout. Boogie Boogie to Fouye. And we return. We return to the scene of our Derringer family with their newest adorable addition. Um, what did you name it again? Biscuit. Biscuit. That's right. Don't pretend their you didn't newest know. newest addition, Biscuit. Not to be confused with Bisquick. Um, so He's a soft biscuit, though, for everybody's out there, just so you know. For now. You guys are uh, traveling in the Panda Express. You guys were traveling and, and having a grand old time when you guys picked up that you were being um, tailed, essentially, by three feral-looking geosporm. And uh, our boy Gustum just shouted out as the last uh, mark of the episode... Dewey, Dewey, Fooey, Fooey way? Is that what it is? You gooey, gooey, fool. Boogie, way? boogie, to Fooey. <laughs> I don't remember. Devin made that up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, all the cast members currently open have have open a, a Google Drive document that it has all of the GS links. <laughs> Except for me. Except Dewey for Dewey uh, DePuy, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have my list up. <laughs> we have Devin's list that's up, like, and that's what that, matters. Because say- Devin made it up, didn't share it with Dwayne, and so we all know. So just Dwayne has to take us on our word, like, you, yeah, this is real shit. Uh, I have access to it somewhere. You say gooey gooey um, DePuy, and now they're turned on. Gooey gooey to zebra. Yeah, yeah, not to be confused. That Listen, that's actually a comma suture thing, mm-hmm. and we don't. Anyway. <laughs> Juvenile. Um, so the th- these three feral-looking gears bomb, they when you when you yell out, um, they hear you and they leap from the tree line, and they immediately begin chase to you guys, and they break the distance pretty quickly behind you. I I I'm not stopping. Okay. I'm not, uh, I, or, 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 or I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not evading. I mean, that, that's what I mean to say. I'm not, uh, I'm not running away. I said the opposite of what I meant. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> okay, but are you stopping the car or are you just keeping pace? Keeping no, pace? I'm like stopping. Like, I that that TikTok audio has been trending from from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. It's like I am guiltless. She ran. I pursued. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, you know what? I don't feel 2%. like uh, making myself look like prey. So you're just going to turn the Panda Express on him? I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to I'm just gonna pull okay. the reins back and be like, that's what I do. I go, and then mm. sugar and spice, they know. Yeah, so um, what happens is they quickly gain ground on you and immediately surround you. Yeah, yeah. And the the biggest one, and when I say big, he is the tallest one, and he's more muscular than the other two. But remember, the Geospawm are kind of um, thin, almost gymnastic 
um, in frame. They're not like big beefy boys. They're more lean, muscular boys. Um, and and so he almost looks uh, he looks extra terrifying because he's lanky, right? Mm-hmm. Everything's long, and, and it kind of feels a little weird. Everything, Hot. Devin. Um, <laughs> and so he he stands before all of you and says, "You go first." But I I didn't catch that. <laughs> you go first. I would like to cast tongues. Mm. Uh, remind me what tongues does again. Uh, the for, spell for the grants the creature you touch the ability to understand any spoken language it hears. Moreover, when the target speaks, any creature that knows at least one language can hear the target and understand what it says. So, darling, you were riding on top of the cart. Yes. And you approach this Geos bomb and lay your hands on him to cast tongues on myself why would i touch him oh i don't know <laughs> it's a touch out, touch <laughs> i'll touch myself no, no, can understand. <laughs> yeah, yeah the rest like, of them wait a minute. i don't think that big tough guy's gonna let me touch him i'm gonna get egg. yeah no i right I, that's what <laughs> clearly that's just a brain fart on my side Dwayne just like heard touch and was like oh yeah she has to touch him bless <laughs> <laughs> i was like i was like oh, right no, my track. yes <laughs> um, yeah, so you, you cast tongues on yourself. Um, so go ahead and mark your, your spell slot as used because you do not have time for a ritual. Mm-hmm. 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 It's uh, not a ritual. And either. what do you say? Could you repeat that? We fight. Uh, I, we would rather not fight. Uh huh. You don't belong. Oh, we're just traveling through. He spits on the ground. Outsiders not welcome. <laughs> we are not outsiders. We are friends with the Tuk Tuk. We're, we're friends with the others around from the area. Is that all right? Uh... <laughs> You're friends with no one. Not any of mine. Uh, how do we become friends? We don't wish any harm. Turn around and leave. Uh, but we need to get our father that's further up north. Further north? Uh, she'll gesture. He's somewhere over that way. We're, we're looking for him. He's lost. And he, he turns back and he, he looks in the direction that you're uh, motioning towards. And, and he looks back at you, darling, and says... I see. Then you've chosen a side. During this conversation that I can only hear one side of, I am going to reach underneath the seat uh, into my interdimensional pantry and just start stacking cold cuts on bread. Just want to make sure I have (laughs) enough sandwiches for everybody. I think this is going really well. I've walked um, up behind old Sea Star and I am standing as intimidatingly who? as possible. I've walked up next to Tiny Dancer. Who did you? Sea Star. Oh, sister. you called her Sea Star. I was I, my I heard that star. word. My sea, my sea Star. Oh. Well, did you get off the thing? Off the yes. Panda Express? Are you still on? No, I'd be no. getting off. No. I'd be breaking my, would making be still my on way top. downtown. Yeah, so she's on top. So you had to get on top and behind her. Well, no, no. So I thought she was down. I'm making no. my. I'm, I'm a barrier. I'm between. Uh, okay, her. so, you're so they're standing. looking up at her, but I'm in front of them, arms crossed. How close do you get? It matters. How far are they from the cart? Uh, we'll say they gave you twenty feet. Where then I'm ten feet. Where are you in relation to the sauce cannon that's been mounted on top of the Panda Express? <laughs> Directly between. Uh, <laughs> 
the Gius Blum that's talking to you guys and the cannon. Cool, because that's my bad. That's, that's like my escape plan. <laughs> oh, good to know. It's full of old soup. All right, darling, what do you say? Uh, we haven't chosen any side yet. Like I said, just getting our father. We'd like to be friends. Uh, how do we become your friends? That would be less harmful. Who is for... your father? Um, uh, he goes by the name Declan Derringer. He's like you. Well, he looks a little different. Uh, almost similar, but dark hair, wears a hat, leather jacket, uh, scruffy beard, some white and gray in there. So he's an outsider, too. Uh, yes, but he's always really kind to the land and the people he usually meets. Um, he does his best for basically everyone. Uh, the only time he does harm onto anything else is if uh, it's a wild creature and it tries to hurt him or uh, someone that wants him dead outright for no reason. The, the Gius Blom motions almost like a, uh, a sweeping of his right arm. I won't repeat myself. Turn around. Leave. I'm going to assume he said, All my friends are hungry. We will need even more sandwiches. I'm going to look to my brothers and be like, He's saying that we need to go and leave. Turn back. Whoa. Does he know about the sandwiches? Did you even tell him about the sandwiches? You can hear me. I... <laughs> Yeah, but, like, I was busy doing sandwiches. Uh, my brother would like to offer sandwiches. <laughs> Ask him if they've eaten today. They're probably bummed because they haven't eaten today. If they're grumpy, that's probably why. Uh, a peace treaty, food offering, um, lunch if you haven't eaten. And he stands silently for a moment. And he... You can see he kind of ponders. He looks up at the sky and... He looks down and he says... Pity. Your dad will miss you. Roll initiative. I'm a freaking love to. I hate this guy. That's a nine on Darling's part. Uh, 19 for Gus, uncharacteristically quick. Uh, <laughs> sure. Five for Palmero. All right, let me go there. They are, um, initiatives. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> That's the first uh, nat 20 I've seen with the the mimic dice. Because I only heard you guys telling me about it last time. What did you say? If it's a mimic, I think it's a one. No, I know, but that's... I've seen the mimic. I didn't see the oh, cool gem one. The chest. That's the, yeah, yeah, that's the yeah. first... Uh, and it happened in the corner. It's, so it's, the whole it's a thing. chest when it's a 20. It's a mm -hmm. mimic when it's a one. Oh, see, I couldn't see the whole thing, but I heard, like, the shining. I was like, yeah, that's not a mimic. Yeah, 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 it like opens up and it's like a chest full Ching -ching. of loot. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. So, the initiative order we have is um, the big DS bomb, followed by. When you say big, in relation to me, what is he big? He like is size -wise. about your height, but oh, okay. he is not your build. Build. Like your yeah, I got big you. Brick house. He is tall. 
He is tall for a He's a skinny well. brick house. This 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 sounds so fucked up, but the way he described him like gnarly and lanky, I'm like, oh, he's just like Sonic in that game where he turns into a werewolf. You guys remember Werewolf Sonic? <laughs> I do. It's exactly like Werewolf Sonic. Hold on. I gotta look that up. Werewolf Sonic. It was like a, like it was like a not very good. Sonic is he just game. taller Sonic with like more, like <laughs> he was like tall and he was like skinny. And oh, he had, like, Sonic big, Unleashed. Arm. Uh, London had this when he was a little kid, uh, and did not like it at all. It wasn't a good game. Yeah, <laughs> apparently he knew. I um, mean, it was great if they want to sponsor. It's not. It's <laughs> not. <laughs> it's, no, it doesn't look like that at all. Uh, think more muscular. Um, cool. And uh, yeah, so why am I giving you the whole initiative order? That that's not fun. You're gonna find you out. You read it to us. That's the rules. No, <laughs> that's not true. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> all right, so to start off our combat, the biggest boy who's right in front of you guys, um, he is going to do two things. The first thing he's going to do is he raises up his right hands, and if you remember, they have these uh, bone blades that go down their, mm-hmm. their arms. But he is holding in his right hand a, um, I think they're called Reddit claws, or, or it's it's a claw that you can see he's holding, and then there's three long blades coming out, mm. and then they kind of have a sharp edge in, and it's got this like uh, dark purplish, almost black hue, and uh, oh yeah, because you can hear him. Uh, yeah, you'll hear him Again, say, Dar- only Darling can understand what he's saying. Yeah, so Darling, you'll hear... Sorry, yeah. Darling, you will hear him say... Four. Oh. And do you see that blade glow? <laughs> and there's an almost an instant where it flashes. And... The two Gius Blom that are uh, catty corner to the Panda Express, essentially, kind of surrounding you guys, right? They just go limp. And this guy gets bigger. Like, his muscles expand. He gets bigger. And almost think of it like, um... <laughs> you know, when looks so unimpressed. <laughs> you, you know how, um, like, uh, it basically his body mass increases by, like, 30%. He gets bigger and Ikeo stronger. Can. Yeah, essentially. Uh, think of, like, when Broly transforms. He just gets bigger. Not, like, that crazy, but... He's like, All Might. He's like, yes. All Might. Well, All Might. Yes. Like, All Might. That's Ooh. why Devin's so upset. He's like, I go to the gym every day. I work hard for this. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> just wants yep. to drop in his friends. <laughs> and, uh, after that... He charges forward, and Darling's still on top of the cart, and so he's going to run forward about five, ten feet, and then he jumps up, and you see him step again on, like, the air itself. Wasn't Devin... He... Opportunity attack? Oh, yeah, you're going to get an opportunity attack. You can do it. Okay, okay go well, ahead. Well, I get an opportunity attack. Uh, I will give you one with this advantage, but because he, he's going to be over your head when okay. he crosses you. Because he literally steps on the air itself and then jumps over Darling and lands behind her. Mm. I'll take a quick look at my list of reactions. The only thing there is opportunity attack. I'll pick my swing. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, both. Yeah, uh, um, uh, I'm able to as here. he jumps. Maybe he's a little higher than me, I think, but I'm able to get a scrape on him. I do hit him. It, well, it's a 20. Not natural. <laughs> okay. Okay, Devin. <laughs> Why don't you tell me what you rolled? Well, this is how I DM. So, <laughs> I'm the DM now. Yes, you, you definitely I rolled a 20. Hit. Okay, and then damage is 9. So, I imagine just reaching up with trying to catch him as if I'm going to grapple. Because my thing is, I'm going to so, grab him, but I can't, he's out of reach. No, so what I'm going to say, remember that... Um, uh, HP loss does not necessarily correlate to damage. I'm gonna say okay. that when when you jump over, you you like get fingers on him, and he just slips out of your grasp. But the Perfect. strain okay. of him having to uh, avoid that attack while rushing. Okay. 
and then he he then kind of jumps off the the air itself, essentially double jumping, even though that's not exactly what he's doing, uh, oh. over Gius Blom, or over Gus. Uh, I rolled a 10 with disadvantage. Okay, yeah, you're going to miss uh, entirely. Um, he just He's just too far over. I think you aren't able no. to. And he lands behind Darling, and he, he says, uh, You're going to regret knowing our tongue. And now it's Gus's turn. Uh, I'm going to first and foremost shift. Shit or shift? As a bonus action. <laughs> shift. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm going. To, I'm going to shift because I'm a shifter as yep. a bonus action, uh, and then I'm going to position myself in a way as to uh, get as many of the geosquam as possible within a thirty foot cone in front of me. So you, you're driving the cart. He's on top of the cart. Uh, how many Geosquam are there total, Dwayne? There is one. There's just the one guy now? The other okay, two are so dead. Okay, so because he dropped his two friends? Okay, that's easy then. Uh, then I'm just going to stand up and turn around to him. Uh, and I'm going to... Uh, this is... I'm going to... Just kind of like, now that I'm in my puffed up, shifted form, I'm just going to man- manifest all of the animal ferocity that I have, and I'm just going to shout at this guy. Uh, as I do, uh, I will be casting Cause Fear. Uh, so that is a, a wisdom saving throw, please, sir. Uh, yeah, um, so you, you, you do this, right? You cast... Uh, this roar and when you do so um, he almost snarls and you understand it has no effect on him understood that is much uh, yep so next up in the um, order is going to be darling Darling, darling, what do you do? Uh, disengage and hop off the cart. I need to get behind one of my big fat brothers, uh, preferably Paul Barrow. He's on the ground. Okay, so you, you disengage <laughs> off the cart and get behind Paul Barrow. Uh, yes, that is that is all uh, I can do. Yes, and Paul Barrow is about what fifteen feet away from you because he was ten feet away from the cart. Yeah, and so you hop down, right? You mm, no, no, never mind. Your turn, Paul Barrow. Oh, unless you have something else. Uh, can I? I would like to try a bonus action just see if it works. Uh, because I got my little bardic thing where I can maybe tie him down. Yeah, and and you will just have to remind me what that one does. I know it's like a grapple check of some kind or a strength check or. Yeah, it's a strength saving throw against my spell save DC, and on a failed save, the target is restrained for by the vines for a minute. Um, and at the end of each of its turns, it can try to make another strength saving throw uh, to get out. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, all 14. right, all right. Uh, yeah, so these vines leap up from below the cart, and as they do, you watch as he almost, in one swift motion, just spins around with his two claws, because he has one in each, and the vines just get torn. Yeah, I didn't think that would work, but had to try. Uh, yep. All right. So if that's all you got left, yep. Paul Barro, you're next. He's up at the cart. I'm facing him. I've got Sis behind me. 
Where's Gus? Gus is, Gus is in the driver's seat, which would make him below seat, him. Oh, but I'm like on the opposite side. He, five feet in the middle. and below him. Okay. Think uh, sauce cannon guy, five feet of a space for Avon, driver's seat, 10 feet, you. Okay, I'm going uh, protective mode, and at this point, someone bigger than me makes me upset, and I'm going to go into rage mode, and what happens is I, too, get bigger. Uh, and grow my and, and the hair stands up almost like it's like a like a, a lion's mane grows like the hair grows mm-hmm. bigger and it's almost like a a collar type thing like and it comes down that's my shoulders too cool. down my back that's uh, really cool. and I, I let it roar and then what I'm gonna do is almost take a defensive stance I want to prepare an action and uh, that action will be when that enemy or an enemy gets within range of me to do this to grapple so now it's ten feet because I have that with the bugbear thing I want to mm-hmm. attempt to grapple. And that is my turn. I'm trying to think how that plays. Okay. So what is going to happen? First of all, I love that it went from this guy beefing up to then Gus shifting and beefing up and then (laughs) Paul (laughs) shifting and beefing up. Uh, So it's his turn. Oh, oh, big Excuse beefy me. boy the, bumping me. At the end of your turn, Paul Barrow, this Gears Bomb jumps for or runs forward and jumps again, almost walking on the air, and lands in front of you. And because he breaks that 10 feet barrier, now here's the weird bit Shane. Do me a favor and just check my thing. A grapple okay. would be considered an attack. Because it is an attack that, action, right? Well, no. You can use the attack action to grapple. But then you but it use... Would, but if you use it, doesn't it use up your attack action, though, right? Like, I can if, use it as a bonus. No, you no, you cannot. Typically you can, not. No, but you can use you, grapple. You can only on use a bonus action attack. if you have a thing that says you can take a bonus action. That's specific to bonus actions, right? Uh, so, here, here's the thing. So, yes and no. Can you be more specific? <laughs> um, so, sorry. What it's specific considered- interaction are you trying to? Um, well, so it, it basically um, he does not suffer uh, opportunity attacks when doing this. So an opportunity attack is different than an attack that is taken as a reaction from preparing an action. An opportunity attack is a specific reaction that is prompted by someone leaving a threatened space of another creature. So he, this is not an opportunity attack in any way, shape, or form. Uh, according to this guy, according to Raw, grapple and shoves count as melee attacks. And they reference the mobile feat where it says... Uh, when you make a melee attack, you don't... Oh, that's for that grapple. I, I can... Regar- regardless of whether or not yeah. a grapple is an attack, like, even if even if he had a thing that let him take a grapple as an attack of opportunity, see. Let me see what it this says. is not an attack of opportunity. Yeah. It's like a delayed action, right? Like, I just have delayed well, my turn. Well, I mean, turn. but that's not, the, that's not what's up for debate here, but... Oh, okay. Um, an I attack say, of opportunity is specifically prompted when you leave a creature's threatened yep. range. No, I agree with you, Shane. I, I do think it's an attack. I do not think it counts as an opportunity attack because he's got it as a prepared action. I agree. Correct. Um, thank you. But for they are both. They, but it's tricky because they are both reactions mm-hmm. and attacks. Yes. Yeah, it's, it's tough. That's why I wanted to have a second, uh, yeah. a quick dialogue on it. So you do get to grapple him, but I'm going to say he is still in your face. Not at the ten feet mark because he's coming down. Because like you can't grapple him and then just drop him straight. Like yeah, he basically entered your threatened space five feet above you in the air, and gravity's going to take over. Yep. So so what are you asking me to do? So I get to do your grapple check. Right. So you have to do a check against his check. Athletics contested. Yep. His could be acrobatics. Yep. First roll is twenty two. Second roll because I get advantage on strength checks. Mm-hmm. Is a 20, 30. It's a 30. Yeah. Plus two. So you beat him. 
Um, <laughs> you've oh, done it. It. <laughs> it was a crit. My bad. Twenty eight. Yeah, plus crit. Yeah. All right. So you beat him. Um, so he lands in front of you. How do you grapple him? Remember, it consumes what is it, his one of stance? your hands. Oh, I like, mean, is he coming with those blades? I want to avoid the blades. Is what I'm trying to do. So I don't oh, know how yeah, he's coming dude, down. When he's coming down because you have to remember this is like combat. He's coming down. When he lands, he's basically landing to to strike. So one, he's he's right hand dominant. The left hand's forward. Right hand's like starting to come around. Yeah, I think eyes are on wrist. Wrist controls everything, and so I'm I'm doing eyes on wrist, and I maneuver just perfectly to grab as he strikes with the one, turn my body as he does the other one, and then grab it overhand and pull him close to me. So it's kind of yeah. an awkward grab, but I've got yeah, it. Yeah. He's, he's he's to the so chest. You've got him up. Yep. Okay. Uh, and so that was the end of your turn, which then puts uh, to the top of the lineup this guy. And he is very simply going to snarl at you and then throw hands or claws at you and let... What the fuck? Okay, uh, can't make that up, but... I fourteen doesn't hit, right? Uh, it does. It does. Okay, it does. Okay, dokie. Sorry. All right. Do so you have your armor equipped? You're not wearing armor. I know where you can't. Armor. He's a barbarian. Yep, I forgot. Does he get disadvantage? Uh, Did you roll it? Uh, nope. This is no. He Dang. doesn't get disadvantage. Grapple just means he can't move. He's just grappled. I just he just can't move. So you, you need restrain speed. to really mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. Um, there's other ways. I mean, yeah, I'm just saying, like, Devin thinks of restraint. Most people think of restraint when they think of grapple. It's, grapple's a weird mechanic until you, like, get it down. Okay, so... Don't worry, you're in rage, so that's good for you. Okay. But you are indeed going to take a total of... 29 slashing damage before your resistance. With the hat, okay. Yeah, so very quickly he okay. lands down. You've kind of got him by the wrist and, and for the purpose of narration, he breaks your wrist away and three quick strikes against you with those claws. And then of course you're able to like re-grapple him. But he, he, now you can determine based on how much HP you have how, whether that's whether you're like deflecting those blows because I don't know is 14 a lot of your HP I don't know your HP total offhand uh, I'd say not not really it's not, not really so I don't no even think he it. lands blows I think because you've got him grappled you're def deflecting them and making them glancing blows like you're not even taking he's not connecting dealio yep and that is his turn Next up is Gus. Okay, somebody ordered a chill pill. And I'm gonna grab just like a big, just wad of chamomile and raw dough. And I'm just gonna just make a ball and I'm gonna throw it into this nerd's mouth. Uh, I'll be casting uh, a hold person. <laughs> okay, and what's the- That's a wisdom saving throw. Yep. Um, yeah, so you do that. I mean, I don't know how to do that. Um, you do that, and it, you see the spell splash over him, and you think it's going to take effect based on uh, the way it's working, but there's like this... How do I narrate that? It's almost like a purple like glow, burst of light, and you notice your spell has no effect. And I can't stress enough that he is not immune to to um, control spells without just outright telling you what's happening. Okay. Well, I, all I know, so here's what's going on in Gus's mind. This spell works on anybody who's a person. Mm -hmm. So welcome to the menu. <laughs> I was not expecting you to say that. Welcome to fucking Nom Town. <laughs> All right, what else do you want to do with your turn? That's all I can do, Dwayne. Have a, have a great life. Sorry. 
Uh, next up is going to be Darling. And you are right behind Paul Barrow. And then on the other side is this guy. Cool. Hey, Dwayne, can I check in real quick? Mm-hmm. Because my, my analytical mind, just you would tell me if you use a legendary resistance, right? Uh, no, but I did. I was trying not to break the veil of I used a legendary action to do that. Okay. Yes, cool, that's cool, what I was cool, like. Cool, cool. He's not immune to it, but he is just going to shrug it. So, uh, yeah, that's okay. That's, that's fair. I, 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 I think I was it's the first time I've seen to, you narrate one. I know, I know, because I usually just give it away. But I was hoping with me saying, he's not immune, and the at the end of your turn, Devin, and he moved, I was trying to broadcast it a little bit. But I, I'm go- here, 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 let me rephrase. Going forward, if you ever hear me do, say, like, a light kind of breaks a spell, like this almost looks weird heroic sheen stops your spell from working, that's because that creature has legendary resistance or to auto Com- succeeds on a save. That move, the can legendary. I, can distance. I can I make a suggestion? Please. And we can, you can edit all this out, Jen. Uh One thing that I've seen other people do, because mm-hmm. I've never narrated legendary resistance either, uh, is be like, "Oh, your spell does the thing that it's meant to," but then you just see like this creature like take resolve and like shrug off the effect. Or so like you know that they did it and then they resisted it with this legendary feat. The, like the magic sheen, I was like, does this guy have like a magic item that lets oh, him like fair. cancel one spell effect? Okay, I like, like that. I like that. That like y- you can tell your spell lands and takes hold, but then he shrugs it off or, or breaks free. Yeah, all right, I like that. That's good. Thank you. Cool. No worries. That, that, that's, I don't know who I saw. I think Brennan Lee Mulligan does that. Maybe. Probably. I've never seen another DM do it. They just say it's, oh. t- it's, it's one of those weird ones because like because we, when you said I was like it's you, specifically the way you said the magic sheen I was like that feels like a legendary resistance but I have no idea what just happened <laughs> yeah well and the last Fair thing enough. I want is it to suddenly be like God nothing works on this thing it's immune to everything which is not the case I feel successful in burning a legendary resistance because yes. I know it's a limited use it's it, it's like I, but I feel. When it's just like a magic sheen just makes it go away, it does feel like, wait, am I just not allowed to do anything, Dwayne? Fuck you. No, no, no. And that's why I'm glad you said something, because it's certainly that is not the case. I'm just using what's available. No, that's super fair. Legendary Resistance, fair game. That's in the book. Yep, confirmed. Okay, uh, Darlin, it's your turn. Cool, 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 cool. Seeing as how my brother cast some magic on it, and I can see that it visually just popped off, and whatever my brother was trying to do just didn't seem to do anything, mm-hmm. uh, I would like to cast uh, Summon... Summon Fae. to <laughs> use that flower. Uh, the... Uh, what did we change the name mm. to it? Uh, Daybreak Daisy. Yep, Daybreak Daisy. Yep, and you summon a fae. All right, so you summon forth a fae spirit. Tell me about it. I. Tell me what you summon. I'm calling forth a friend, just to someone to come help out because. I'm stuck behind a brother. This guy just jabbed. Uh, magic just kind of flew over him. It's not it's not a great time, and I, I need someone. So you choose a mood. Yes. Fuming, mirthful, or tricksy. Um. I, I would like someone that's uh, a little mirthful. I think that's who I want. Could use some mirth. She she's trying to make friends. I don't know if we can do this, but like Okay. Yeah, so you um <laughs> you cast that and uh it's a creature um and, and yeah, so it's this fake creature. It almost like it do you see these uh lights almost appear and they swirl around and it, it summons and it forms um, 
a, a fake creature and if, if Avon you don't have a preference on what is formed um, I think um, this four legged almost um, almost uh, not G- mountain lion esque looking creature uh, appears next to you and snarls and um, not snarls. It wouldn't snarl. It's mirthful. Um, it it lands and it's almost um, a mountain lion doesn't even work now that I remember that it's mirthful. A panther with a Cheshire grin. A panther esque with a Cheshire grin appears. I tore it. How's it going to use a short sword? <laughs> Look. In its teeth? With its teeth? I, I can... It's a it's on its hind legs. <laughs> Perfect. It's silly. It's, in its tail, it holds the sword. It goes, I'll get you. Well, I mean, ultimately, you just replace short sword with claws. I mean... Yeah, yeah, sure. If, sounds good. Now, if you, if you want it to be something else, you can. No, that sounds uh, great. I love it. I'm just trying to f- it look throws, at the stats. It throws its block. Cheshire cartoon <laughs> grin like oh, a boomerang. It's that Pokemon it with a sword in its mouth. That's what it is. Perfect. No. All right. What else? Yeah, Aniston. You nerd. <laughs> yeah, Aniston. Yes. Yeah. This whole time we could hear This whole time we could <laughs> I was like, he thinks he's muted, dog. Yep. <laughs> Well, anyways, all right. So, uh, what else do you want to do on your turn? Um, okay, nothing. Nothing. Uh, I will oh, bardic inspiration, my bro, as my bonus action. The one right in front of me, because mm-hmm. I was like, you know, what? you can do it. You got this. You got this. You're fine. You're all good. <laughs> Just keep holding on. Perfect. I'm working the magic. Uh, and at the. At the end of Darling's turn will be this Fae Spirit's turn. And Darling, you control it. Sweet. I will... Uh, he- You're also supposed to give it verbal commands or whatever, but oh. you can do that at any point, right? It doesn't have to be on your turn specifically, just narratively. Uh, attack and keep away. <laughs> that's, that's her thing. Um... So he'll go in. So it'll step forward five feet. Yep. To get in line with um, Paul Barrow. Okay. Roll the 12. And your spell attack modifier to hit. Mm-hmm. So it'll be 15. Uh, that's, yeah, so you, you, this, this panther leaps forward, uh, and it goes to strike, and I think, um, he snarls at it and just kind of kicks it backwards out of his space, um, and you know that your attack just didn't land. Yeah, and to keep away, it looks like the face step as a bonus action can teleport... 30 feet to an unoccupied space it can see. Um, mm-hmm. And then one of the following effects that occurs based on the face chosen mood, Mirthful, it will try and uh, well, anything within 10 feet of it. So I guess not too far. So it can... Okay, so you just t- teleport 10 feet forward behind it or something? Uh, behind it. Yep, yep. Um, and then you're going to do Mirthful? Yes. So, Wisdom Saving Throw against my spell DC, which it's is still 14. Good at those. Um, and the target is then charmed by myself and the Fae for a minute uh, until the target takes any damage. I accidentally put away my roller to get to the spells. Must turn on. All right, wisdom saving throw. Um, yeah, no, he is not going to succeed on that. 
so uh, he will now be charmed by you and the Fae. I imagine because the Fae got it charmed, it's doing like that fun little Cheshire thing where it's like spinning on its head. <laughs> like, oh yeah, because it almost floats as it moves. Yeah, I love that. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, at the next up in the uh, initiation initiative is Paul Barra. So I can be sure he's not grappled now, or that just changed he's, the thing. He's, he's grappled. He's grappled. Yeah. I'd like to shove this boy to the ground as an action. Okay, shove him. Oh, contested. actually, first, before I do that, I'm going to take my, my 1d4 headbutt I get for at the beginning of the turn because he's grappled. I'm going to go ahead and take that real quick. Go for it. Is that an attack roll, I assume? It's just, uh, it's, uh, I guess, yeah, attack roll. I, don't, I think I just do 1d4 damage. I don't think I have to do an attack roll for it because he's already grappled. The condition is if he's gra- if, it, if a person is grappled at the beginning of your turn. Hold on, let me find it for you here. Just had it. See, part of his new is the unarmed fighting style, fighting style right? unarmed fighting grapple at the start of each of your turns you can do a 1d4 bludgeoning damage to one creature grappled by you oh cool that's a that's a new fighting style I just didn't remember it I remember reading it now that you read that's it that's no roll no roll no action yeah. that's really good that's pretty solid um, I, I guess it, I don't think I it's get a my, d4 but yeah it's, it's one it's a one a d4 with no modifier I'm yeah. Say. <laughs> yeah I'll take that yeah. <laughs> it's not a ton because it's not know. an attack you don't get to add your strength Correct. Yep. Uh, so, uh, so you do headbutt him. Noticeably, he doesn't move when you headbutt him. Like yeah. you just collide. <laughs> Neither of you are like. You know what I mean? You did do the exact bare minimum amount of damage required to break the charm, though. Great job, Devin. <laughs> bare minimum. Well, hey, I'm just there, but I didn't know what's going on. It's so quick. It's happening all. It's all happening so fast. And that's exactly what I'll say once this, this thing is over. <laughs> um, and there was another thing I had. Hang on, I'm sorry. There's so many things with this. Anyways, I'm gonna try to yeah, I'm gonna try to shove him to the ground. Yeah. Strength too. Alright. Uh first one is a 14. That ain't gonna get it, probably. And or I don't know what he's got. And then I'll roll again. Ah, uh, that's a uh, Eleven. So, so what, the, yeah, nice. you make a athletics check, and it makes a. Um, it's a contested roll. It's basically like grapple. Okay. Wait, um, why are you shoving him to the ground? Because, because you want him to. to. Be, yeah, I want okay. him to have all the. I want him to be prone. If he's well, prone and he, grappled, he can't stand up because his movement speed is zero. I know. I just wanted to make sure. All right, that's fine. All right. So what was your roll? Uh, 12 was my high one. Oh. Yeah. Um, no, that's not going to cut the mustard. Well, I would like to use my um, action surge. What about uh, your bardic inspiration? Oh, did I get that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, I must have did, totally missed with, that when I was, maybe I was yelling at my kids. Was like, Are you kids? <laughs> Is he... <laughs> Can he use it? He, can he use it before he knows the results or after? You're the one telling the result. That's your fault. Well, he didn't, he didn't I don't know the score. The I don't know the number. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> but I did. You didn't remember that it broke the charm. We're all having an off day. Agreed. <laughs> Give me a second uh, yeah, to no, read I, it. Okay. It doesn't matter if you want to use it. Use it. I like I said. I already rolled it out. It doesn't matter. We do need to know. But he doesn't know what you rolled. Yeah, I think I don't so, know like, what you rolled. Um, yeah, I but will not order. use it at this time. Okay. I w- but I will use my action search to do it again. Okay. So yeah, I think you do. I think you just try to pull him down, him and just- he stands taut. Oh, taut like a. Wait, tiny. don't you have extra attack because you're greater than level five? Can I just do it again? So, yeah. Is that so you can just shove twice in a turn. Yeah. Okay. Then I would like to. Yeah, I'll try it again then. Because it is a special melee attack. That's why we were having the conversation earlier. Gotcha. All, All right. right here we go. That's a 26. And that one might work. That's Let's a 12. See. So, uh, What did you say you and I will, uh 26. 26. I'm going to use my inspirations. No, it's with not D- successful. 
I'm gonna use my he, default. He was, he was saying he was using bardic yes. inspiration before. Oh, go for it. Before you said it's not successful. That's fine. <laughs> go for he it. He don't care because he knows that it's a freaking. But I didn't D4, say right? the number though. So like, because I'm not so giving that away. Plus three, twenty nine. You are you, successful. You, you are successful. That's awesome. I'm just, I'm yeah, just pissed because he's stro- he's been stronger than me. So this is this this is a two true champion worth my strength. Just to clarify, Sprout, you got a D6 for your body. I got a D8, right? baby. We're level five. D8, D8 at this point. Yeah. yeah, I'm over here like, <laughs> that's short change, D4 stuff. But you got there. doesn't matter. Well, I, this is for the for everybody. It's a three again. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a D8. It's a three again. It was meant to All dice are three. Every yeah, so d- it doesn't matter what dice you roll. D20, D6, D8. You, you end up uh, forcing him to the ground. Great. Um, I will action surge <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, to take an attack. To take an attack. I just, just, just Perfect. clawing at his face. Yeah, we'll do it. And so I get. All right, Go ahead, and roll so both because you're going to roll two, and they both get advantage. All right. So uh, unnatural well, twenty two for hit and. Uh, 27 for hit. So there's two there. All right, Both damage. Hit. We'll say they hit. All right, first first one coming across is 12. Second one coming across is 15. 27 there. 27? Okay. Yep. And then when you hit a melee attack. You can expend one spirit to die to deal damage to another creature. Oh, never mind. Carry on. There's other creatures. Only one creature. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Um, it's at the start of his turn. And he will, from prone, look up and say, and only Darling will understand this. And he'll say, Your insolence means nothing. I will take your life. He's threatened to kill you. And that's where we're going to end this episode. Couldn't talk our way out of this one. Do you have to go on a date? I, yeah. I do have to go on a date. <laughs> All right. Ginch uh, says it so. <laughs> Launch it into this. So. <laughs> uh, Shane, it is, your, uh, it is your duty. It is your honor. It is your uh, birthright. We need you to roll for humanity. Special deeds. Special needs. They're out there doing the bedroom makeovers. Really cool stuff. Worthwhile, your dollars, mine. Here's eleven of them. What do they Get your eleven, baby. Above average. Uh, all right. So we're gonna get so into my the... wiener of dice rolls in eleven. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna get into um, <laughs> wiener sizes. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get into the dad joke portion, so we can get Avon onto her date. Um, so she can enjoy gingers. Uh, <laughs> I 
What is Whitney Houston's favorite type of coordination? And I <laughs> coordination. Yep. Go ahead and sing an F you in there too. <laughs> yep. Slam dunk. That's nice. my D, Dwayne. Slam no. my dunk. <laughs> It's one of my favorite jokes. It's so good. Uh, Shane, tell me a funny joke. <laughs> oh, man, that inspired me. I don't know. There's no way to tell this in the format, though. Um, did you hear about that actress? She got stabbed. Uh, Reese? With, Reese? With her spoon? Oh. With a spoon? <laughs> no, with yeah. a knife. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Dang, I really thought I was going to make you S my D. But that's, that's right. really I funny. Did. I like that one because, especially in this format, because yeah. he does go to slam you, right? And you're like, no, nerd. Oh, you walked into time. my trap card. <laughs> 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 that's a twofer for Shane. Uh, that's a good night for him. Avon, mm-hmm. tell me a funny ass joke. Oh, uh, why do tigers have stripes? Why do tigers mm. have stripes? Uh, because. So dumb. Be so t- I'm gonna hate it. Why do tigers have stripes? Why do tigers have stripes? Because uh, they're, uh, they're very slimming. Per- no. <laughs> Meow. I like my. Uh, they're very slimming. Mane. I don't know. Separates them from panthers. I don't know. Go ahead. So that when so they're they together, get zebras spotted. can't see it. Oh Dang. my god! I love Dang it. it. <laughs> Devin. Well, speaking of trees. Um, People always wonder if you can hear a tree when it falls down to the woods. That's not my joke. My kid did ask me, though, do trees poop? And I said, where do you think number two pencils come from, you idiot? I thought it was funny when I told you. Get in there, but yeah, yeah. (laughs) No, it's solid. Uh, And as we always say, I see hot makes it feel better. (laughs) <laughs> no, it doesn't. Don't no, do that. Don't do don't that. that. It's bad. Don't we do that. Bye. Bye. <laughs>